An upsetting and difficult night for countless JCPS families. Nearly six hours after school let out, some children just got home off the bus about an hour ago. Our newsroom has been flooded with calls and messages tonight from parents describing a nightmare ordeal waiting for their children to come home on the first day. WDRB's Katrina Nichols spent her day talking with those parents. Uh, Katrina, you just feel for these families. Right. I mean, we spent the afternoon with parents waiting for kids to get off the bus at Chenoweth Elementary, which is where we are right now, and Field Elementary. Those kids were on a combined bus, and you could only see the frustration grow on these parents' faces as the hours passed. 4.15. That's the time Molly Brower's seven-year-old son should have gotten off the bus. Less than an hour after his school day at Chenoweth Elementary ends at 3.20. Because I don't have a car at the moment. Brower sat at her son's stop on Brownsboro Road and Lindsay Avenue. She waited with her toddler. I think it's very inconvenient. And waited as other buses passed by. I don't think I should wait an hour for a bus. And waited. Because I don't think I should have to wait two hours. Her son's bus arrived at 5.50, nearly an hour and 40 minutes later than expected dropping off kids from Field and Chenoweth Elementary. I do not like the bus when it's slow. Other parents also waiting eventually called the school to check in on the bus. They were asked to come pick their kid up. Parents already planning to do that, like Tony Green, whose son attends Madonna Elementary, were met with long lines for car riders spanning blocks. From the looks of it, I'd say we've doubled the uh, car rider line from uh, last year to this year. Green said his family rearranged work schedules to pick up and drop off his son and will continue to do so unless his bus stop changes. They were wanting him on Valley Station Road. It's just not safe for any kid. Tony Carter also expected chaos and took matters into his own hands. I don't trust the system. I saw too many kids out this morning still waiting on the buses, so I just said I go get it myself. Changes to bus stops stem from the district's change to school hours, switching from two to nine different start times. These nine start times completely solve our issues around transportation. JCPS said the change allowed the district to cut over 100 bus routes. While the move was expected to get students to and from school on time, JCPS said it will take a couple weeks to get in routine. We always have late buses on the first day of school. Um, it takes time. We've got 70,000 kids who are being transported, so have some patience with us today. But waiting to get in routine means even more waiting for parents like Browers. I didn't like it at all. I've never waited two hours. We did ask JCPS leading up to today and today if Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio would be available for an interview after school to discuss bus times and we were told several times he would not be available and we are still waiting on a final wrap up email from its communications team about how the day went. Now JCPS said if you have any concerns tomorrow about your students pick up or drop off with the buses to call the school first who will then call the bus compound for you and the bus compound will then call the school back and the school will contact parents. Uh, that's quite a lot to remember there. Katrina, I know you've been talking to board members though tonight. What's their reaction to all of this? That's right. We called and texted all of them this evening and did hear back from three. Sarah McIntosh said what happened today is disappointing and upsetting and to the families impacted. She is so sorry. She said that she has contacted Superintendent Marty Polio's team to request some sort of data to figure out what went wrong today and have some accountability. Uh, Board President Diane Porter also said she's sorry to hear about what happened with the late buses. When we talked to her around 9.50 this evening, she had just found out that there were still some kids just getting home. She said, all we learned today is that we have some work we must take care of. And board member Linda Duncan also got back to us and said that these delays were far beyond what they anticipated. She said that she voted against the start time proposal, which is one of the reasons she said the delays had occurred. She said, although she voted against it, that she does want to help families any way possible to address what happened and said that tomorrow needs to be better. We'll see if it is. We'll be covering it. Yeah. Thanks, Katrina. And of course